Come on, Mr. Pebbles, give me the black pearl. Good morning, adventurers. Welcome back to Rain World. I have fungus. Hopefully I won't need any more fungus. Because we have made it through the farm arrays and don't have to deal with our sports utility animals any longer. And I've got enough karma to do this. Lovely. And of course I do. I've got four-leaf clover karma. Which, um, speaking of karma, I've come to the realization with, uh, oh, this is a precipice. I'll stand here for a moment, uh, and talk. Um, speaking of karma, I've come to an interesting uh, thought about what the representation of it is, because apparently each of the symbols has meaning, um, which people are constantly going over, but the, with the survival aspect of this game, I feel like it might have something to do with the four F's of survival, in which the top level of karma being the survivor and having a different symbol, f or more script-like symbol than the other four, um, that's probably going to be the king of them, survival itself. And then we have, uh, what is it? Fighting, fleeing, feeding, and mating are the other four F's of survival which relate more or less directly to the uh, the murals and the symbols with there being, you know, violence and food and lust and the, the one that's sort of um, less exact, less uh, pinpointed. I want to say it's probably having, uh, I'm going to call that freedom because we have the ultimate free will to do things, but too much free will can get you into trouble. Um, and I'm also going to, I know to the behest of some people in the comments, I, I am going to listen to people who tell me things. I've been told that there's an echo down this way. <laughs> and if I go down here, which is kind of my only choice, uh, there's a pearl over there and it looks very metallic looking. Oh, that one's going to be a, a difficult, difficult, lemon, difficult one to get. Um... Which, uh... Huh. Oh, hello! You're stuck in the ground. A little beast! But not as dim as the rest, perhaps. Yes, I committed a heinous sin. So down into the depths you go, as many others before you. Drawn to the void again and again, an endless drip, drip, drip. Yes, I am dripped up! Much like these tunnels and caves that amuse me so, the bones of forgotten civilization heap like so many sticks. Did they dig too deep or not deep enough? Fools. We are right to drill straight through them. Huh. Oh, this is gonna- Yes, maximum karma. Two sprouts, twelve brackets. He's a programmer. Um, aww. I'm not, it's not allowing me to use a passage because I'm feeling like I'm getting closer to the end and I want to go and make five pebbles, four pebbles and steal one of his pearls and, uh, wow, that's a long ass cycle. Steal one of five piece pearls and bring it back to Moon and see what she has to say about it. Which means that can always be a quest for, uh, the next series. I have to wait for this damn thing again which the next series is being planned and worked on. I believe I'm gonna be playing Gourmand because, uh, well, Hunter has a time limit because he's got cancer. And, uh, Artificer has, like, a more story-driven thing. And Gourmand's just on a food quest. We're just gonna be picking up everything. So he's already going across the world, so I'm just gonna pick that chunky little caramel-colored fellow and have a good time. Uh, okay, let's see if I can... <laughs> okay. 
I've got this pearl. Wait, what did I already have on me? Oh. Fungus. Yep. <sighs> Spores. I don't want to just jump to- Oh, this path is split, isn't it? Uh, do I want to go left or right? Well, I, I, I have to go left. I'm glad I went left. What? what? Ah! Oh no! Oh, a karma flower. I'm gonna need. Get off me! Do not touch me! Let's get some food. I love the little, like, hollow noises that your dude makes. I'm a little balloon. I'm gonna have to play the tube game with this guy. Scavengers. I had a stick, you know? I no longer have a stick. Oh, there's a... Yes! Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Is that a train? Let us climb under a train. I've got enough food to slumber. So let's go and, uh... Let's go take a trip. Waste so much of the cycle, but, uh... It'll be fine. but a moat floating. Okay. This. Oh, this is the, the scavenger one. Oh, I'm the chief. Oh. That's a cool hat. Can I, can I get that in game? Can I, can I get the hat? What color do I want to take? I know he's got silver ones, which are going to be boring. There's black ones and orange ones. I think I might want to go for a black one because I'm, I'm being a pirate and I'm stealing his goodies. Come on, Mr. Pebbles, give me the black pearl. Confuse the game by starting with the wrong music. Okay. Um. Got one. Put you away. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Five pebbles. Big mad. I will not tolerate this. <laughs> Leave immediately and don't come back. Uh. Oh, the pebbles are unshaded. I mean, there's. Pearls. Now we're going to be doing a little bit more science because I would absolutely love to keep the uh, that beautiful maroon metallic looking pearl. But uh, I'm not 100% sure if items held in your hand go uh, with uh, go passage with you. I kind of hope that uh, they would, but like, would that be Overpowered necessarily to have the potential to bring three things with you. Wait, hold on. Did I? <gasps> it stays through passages. Oh my god, I've got two pearls. Whatever's in the shelter comes with you. Which means that I could have brought two neurons and that blue pearl to look to the moon if I had a passage, which I believe I did not at the time, but still. I can bring three items with me. This is going to be incredible. I get to have my cake and eat it too. Just as long as I don't drop the pearl right here. I am so excited. 
I hope you all are too. This is this is amazing. I did not expect it to let me keep this pearl. Hello? I've got a gift for you. Let's take a look see. Oh, I could have brought you a neuron! I'll read it to you. It's a conversation log. All plain text. Yes. Private. Seven red suns chasing wind. Have you had any contact with five pebbles recently? Not in a long time, actually. Unless worrying about him counts. One of his neighbors, Unparalleled Innocence, sent over an overseer to his can to get some images. They were made public in the local group in an effort to be mean, I suppose. There's no other way of putting it. He looks awful. <laughs> Roasting him in the group chat. <laughs> Tell me. He's got the rot very badly. Big cysts have become mobile and are scattering down the west and middle legs. He does listen to you and a few others by now. You should talk to him. I'll try to contact him. Does Moon know? Moon has been unavailable for some time. I wonder why. Ah. Uh. Another gift? Would like me to read this? Yes, let's see what a black one says. It's still warm. It was in use recently. Without the process surrounding this data, there isn't much I can tell you. I might have something to do with a vo flu void fluid simulation. Interesting. Void fluid. Um. I'm gonna leave this here with you. I feel bad because I could have brought you another neuron, and. But, eh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, void fluid simulation. Huh. I know that, uh, in my other favorite pixel game, uh, void fluid. I believe that's what it is in Nord, or is it creepy liquid? Is the most dangerous thing imaginable because it'll fill up the entire world. Imagine void fluid is probably something in this game. Ugh. Wow, that's a short cycle. I had a really long cycle before. Ugh, it's almost like I'm being spited. What is that? Not good, that's what that is. I didn't know they glowed that brightly. Um. I'm terrified. I'm just gonna be quiet, maybe it'll go away. I'm definitely in the old subway system. Abandoned structure. Climb up the structure, ass backwards. Now, I think that's why uh, one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to this game, like its visual style, is that um, I, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with the like overgrown, abandoned industrial look. Get if I get if I get if I. Um, it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's just like the, the reclaimed by nature aesthetic is just very good. I'm very fond of it. This is bad, I'm okay. He's trying to climb the thing. I'm just gonna keep harassing him. I think I killed that blue lizard over there. I know that apparently they only take one hit. But yes, the, uh, the overgrown industrial aesthetic is just a, a very good one. Um,
Act like one of my favorite people on YouTube, that's what they do. Oh, hello. You should be dead. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in. Um, ah! To the, uh, to who I'm talking about. The proper people. Because a lot of this place, like the industrial complex, especially in Chimney Canopy, remind me of like when they did Blast Furnace B and some of the old power plants. It's just got that vibe to it. It's very good. Oh, actually. much they like those. Creepy old train car. Oh. Do we just, do we just jump? Oh, I got half a cycle left. We're jumping. Ow. It's a bat fly guano. I appeared to float over top of him. Oh, I can't climb through that. See, I'm was making the assumption that the oh Music is getting weird. Do some crawling. I keep going down. My train of thought was completely derailed by this. By the danger in this whack ass music. Ah. Oh. I think I just did a kickflip off of that lizard. Oh, I got- oh, I'm dead! <laughs> Made it back here. I have one. You've got scavengers instead of black lizards. There, have fun with that. This, my friends, is what we in the business call a situation scavenger. Please move. Wow. Okay. We are back over here now. We made it home. The scavenger's just having a bad day. Hey, no!
Let's go down the hole. Okay, good. Excellent. -y. 